Yo, it's your boy DL Sauce. I'm here with Brianna on Hip Hop United. Okay. Okay. Hip Hop United, we are in the building with the one and only Dio's. How's it going? I'm good. Great. Well, I do appreciate you for checking in with me today on Hip Hop United. Yes, I appreciate uh, appreciate you for inviting me. No problem, no problem. Yes. Go ahead and introduce yourself. I am Dio Sauce, D I O S S A L S. That's that's my all all my handles. On everything, I am D.O. Sauce. I'm from Exit 28, Holdensville, Georgia. Uh, I'm an up-and-coming artist, and I'm finna come with a bang. That's what I'm talking about. Well, I see <laughs> you've been doing your thing, though. So, you're definitely where it's at as far as the music scene. You know, mm -hmm. this this is where it all, you know, happens. The South definitely has something to say. Yeah, well, most definitely got something to say. The South has something to say. So, talk to the people about, you know, just what inspired you to get into music. Uh, just, you know, being <clears throat> somewhat like an artist and what people be rapping about, just like out here doing my daily, what I do. And, you know, I felt like an artist and like music has always been like a go-to outside of what we be doing. Like I grew up on sports and stuff like that, but music okay. was our outside of that go-to, but we never really took it serious until... Like the pandemic hit, so I had to take something serious, mm -hmm. and I'm out of sports and stuff. So, yeah, that was okay. my option. Okay, so it, but it sounds like you still like sports. Of course, I be betting all that. <laughs> I watch sports go crazy. Okay, well, so if you weren't doing the music, you would be doing sports. <clears> oh, <throat> uh, I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say okay. that. Okay, I, I love sports, but I wouldn't necessarily be doing that. I would have had to be like. Somebody great coming out, and I wasn't somebody great coming out. What's your favorite good. one? What's your favorite sport? Uh, football. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. I was good, but I got a lot of trouble and stuff coming up, so I messed up my chances. You know. Oh goodness. Okay. Well, that's the past. Mm -hmm. You know, we're gonna focus on the future, mm -hmm. and you're doing what you need to do to make it happen and move, in, you know, into a more positive direction, mm -hmm. you know, in your life. So. You know, I like I said, I see you doing your thing. You've been grinding, putting in the work with the music. Mm -hmm. um, talk to the people about just, you know, this current single that you're pushing. Um, you know, Booty, <clears throat> you know, it's going crazy yeah. everywhere already. Mm -hmm. You know, talk to the people about what inspired that song. Uh, I was sitting down just making like a couple of different songs. I had a studio of my own and we was kind of like in the last little days of transitioning to something else. And I was just making a couple songs, and that was one song I made. And I was thinking, like, okay, it needs something else. And I was like, let me think of somebody I can, like, get in contact with for real. And I got in contact with her, and she she came through and killed it. Okay, so when you say her, we're talking about the featured <clears throat> artist? Mm-hmm, and Chan, I'm sorry. Okay, okay, yeah, cool. Chan. Okay, all right, so how, you know, so have you guys, like, officially met yet? Mm -mm. We're okay. working on it. She said she's going to pull up on me and stuff, but okay. we're working on it. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Well, hopefully she pulls up soon. But yeah, so I've been listening to the song. Like I said, it's, I see it's been going up, climbing the charts. You're streaming good on uh, you know, Spotify, YouTube. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's at all the strip clubs. Mm -hmm. So I see you strip doing your thing. Crazy. Definitely. And the name fits. Like, I'm sure all the dancers, you know, can vibe to the song. Mm -hmm. You know, you're giving the people that strip club vibe. Mm -hmm. You know, what other vibes can the listeners, you know, expect from you? Like, what type of <laughs> what type of flow that you want to bring uh, to the table? I would say, like, trap music because, like, that's the way, like, rap is formed around, kind of. But, like, motivational, you know, try to get, like, I try to motivate my listeners to get money type deal. Not necessarily get money, but I motivate. I try to be motivational type, type deal. Okay. What's what's um, what's some advice or some, some good advice that you've received from someone that stuck with you, that you take with you, <clears throat> that you're going to take with you forever? Mm, I don't know, because I soak in so much information just from people on a daily. Like, I soak in information from, you know, it might be somebody on the corner. They say something, it could be something simple, but it could relate to something that you got going on that day and you may have needed to hear that. So 
I soak up a lot of information. Definitely awesome, awesome. So now, is there like any type of dream artist that you want to collab with that you have that you know that you haven't worked with yet? Mm, dream artist, yeah, Andre Three Thousand for sure. Okay, why Andre Three Thousand? Cause like he just the. I don't know. He, I feel like he the unicorn of, of, of music. Like he, he's that person. Definitely, I had a chance to meet Andre Three Thousand um, years ago. Mm-hmm. Um, well, I see Big Boy all the time, but um, yeah, he's definitely at the top of the top. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, him in a, in addition to you know, of course, Big Boy and just mm-hmm. other people from that generation. You know. In, in my opinion, you know, that's how, that's where the phrase, the South has something to say. That's mm-hmm. how it all originated. And you have people from like up North, you know, in LA, they're all coming to Atlanta to record. They're, they're getting their influence from Atlanta. Mm-hmm. You know, everything like we're, Atlanta influences the culture period to me. Yeah, it is the culture. <laughs> now it's a, it's a little... It's different because everybody getting a chance, but like mm-hmm. Atlanta, when every, Atlanta is really like together, everybody's doing what they need to be doing musically. Like they can't, they can't really mess with Atlanta. Definitely. Well, what else can we, you know, look forward to from you? Any any other videos? Uh, you know, up and coming shows or anything like that are in the works? Uh, just networking out. I'm gonna be at anything that I can be in, like artist wise, <clears throat> uh, radio station interviews, uh, more club performances, of course. That's gonna be the thing to do. So, um, more club performances, more is it definitely more music. Um, I'm trying to get into like branding, you know, like people. Just, Sending me their brands to just, you know, sport and stuff like that. Okay. All right. So kind of like a brand ambassador. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, that's that's always a, another good avenue. Once you become more of a known figure, um, you're going to start getting more and more brands reaching out to you, offering you checks to model their clothes. Yeah, I have a couple offers, but... <clears throat> It just like you said, it, it, we gotta see how real they get, they get, you know, and stuff like that. So I'm I'm getting my little bro to do like the talking to them like that, like the booking and stuff. Okay, okay, nice, nice. Well, leave everybody with your social media handles and how you can be reached. Mm-hmm. So I am Dio Sauce, and you can follow me on all, most of my socials are at D I O S S A L S. And if it's not that, it'll be an underscore in between Dios and Sauce. There it is. Well, once again, you know, it was a pleasure. You know, I do appreciate you for, you know, dropping in, taking the time to speak to Hip Hop United. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Thank no you problem. No problem.